Good evening, Trade Spooners, and welcome to today's pick for March 4th. We're going to take a look at Short Dean Foods, ticker symbol DF. Now, taking a look at the proprietary risk reward rating here from Trade Spoon, we're coming in at a 5. So, at the mid range of those expected returns of this investment versus the risk uh, to capture that. We're taking a look at the value momentum at a three. So again, that's on the low end of the curve as well in that one to 10 rating scale. Uh, also taking a look at the analysis report, you can actually see that uh, our valuations are coming in with a proprietary score of 5.7. You can see the sector, the industry, and also the trade rationale, as well as competitive comparison, uh, fundamentals, and so forth that you can all see listed here on the report. So please take advantage of utilizing our proprietary report. Now scrolling down and taking a look at the price action as well as some option action uh, information. DF closed uh, on the third at 14.78, well off the 52-week highs of 42.12, and right off those lows of 13.59. We have seen the implied volatility percentage on the move to the upside it's actually at the 25th percentile so that means it is on the move from its lows so vol is moving and we want to keep an eye on that IV percentile see if it starts getting north of 50 percent um, the return on capital on the option positions that we're looking at are, is right around 50 percent the probability of success that's coming in at around 65 percent and our estimated move is coming in at right around 90 cents um, the expiration for the options that we're going to be looking at, I'm sorry for this, uh, we're going to actually fix this, but it is in April, the third week or the third Friday of April expiration cycle. Taking a look at the stock trade, we're looking to sell short stock, Dean Foods, DF. We're going to do it at a limit price of $14.78 or better. Once we're filled, we're going to put our target gain $3.80 below the entry price, excuse me, $3.10. So we're going to cut out of this for a profit if it trades at $11.68 or better. Now, we are going to put a sell, a buy stop limit on our short entry. And the buy stop limit works to cut us out of the trade if the stock starts to go to the upside and working against us. We're going to put that in in right around $17.88. We're going to work both these good till cancel. Uh, as always, use prudent size management. We suggest using no more than 3 to 5% of the cash available at the time of this trade. Now the options trade, um, we're going to be looking at buying the April $15 puts at 70 cents. So that is April expiration, which is that third Friday in the April expiration cycle. We're going to put that in at a limit price of 70 cents or better. If we're filled at 70 cents, we're going to put a sell target out there of $1.40. Or in other words, we're looking to gain 70 cents on that. So we'll have a sell to close at $1.40 for the contracts that we purchase at this limit price. Now, we are willing to risk the 70 cents that we're putting in, that debit that we're paying for. So use prudent size management. As we've suggested in the past, we suggest using around 25 to no more than 10% of the cash available when you're putting this transaction on. For the option spread strategy, we're looking at a call credit spread. Now, for those of you that have never traded a call credit spread or you're new and you've, you've actually sat through and read an article on this, we actually, in our Trade Spoon training videos right here, we actually have, with our partners from Money Block and Trading Block, we have a discussion on this very spread right here if you click on credit spreads. Take advantage of utilizing this library to learn more about how we look at these strategies in the logic chain behind trading them. Now again, looking at this particular strategy, we're going to be selling the $15 calls and we're going to collect a credit of $0.45. Cents. We're going to buy some protection in the strike price above, specifically the $16 calls, because we don't want to have that unlimited risk to the upside. And so we're going to pay $0.15, cents, which means that our net credit is going to be $0.30. Cents. Now that is our total profit for this particular trade. So we're looking that the stock will stay below 15 between now and April expiration. So we will be paid 30 cents for that to take on that risk. Our max risk though is the difference between these strike prices minus the credit received. So that means that we have 70 cents of risk. In reality, what we want to do is we want to put a buy stop limit 
above our entry price, specifically 30 cents higher than our entry, which is that 30 cent credit. So that we're going to get out of this trade if the spread is trading at 60 cents or higher. And as always, you can utilize our place virtual trade function as you start to develop uh, a risk and capital management program as well as an understanding of these uh, multi-leg strategies as well as the single leg strategies with the stock and options. Taking a look at the price action though, we've seen that rack space has been under pressure but consolidating lately, so we want to keep an eye on that. We're also looking for any key events and guess what, we did have, we do have one and it was earnings that missed its earnings estimates. And so we see that uh, there is potentially some fuel on the fire and we're looking at these fundamental and also technical components that are driving some of our thought processes. And as always, we do drill down very deeply in our proprietary uh, research here. So take advantage of looking at that. And as always, if you ever need any help, you can email us at info at tradespoon.com. We are also, uh, as far as training is concerned, we're going to be doing a video, uh, a live uh, presentation on um, 3.5 and 3.6. At 3.5 on the evening of Wednesday, we are going to be doing a call on long calls and puts. So for those of you that do these strategies, these single edge strategies, this is going to be a great opportunity. And then we'll follow it up at noon on uh, Thursday during the day so that during lunch, if you want to do a little lunch and eat and learn, uh, you can join us. Okay, and if for always for more information, just email us at info at tradespoon.com. Well, that's it for our pick for March 4th, 2014. We're looking to do short Dean Foods, ticker symbol DF. Thanks for listening, folks, and we will talk to you later. Have a great trading day.